Uh, let me uh, stop sharing there. Porcelain, welcome to the Fuck Cozy Festival, sir. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm doing very good. How are you doing, sir? Very good. Very good. Very excited. This me is, too. Uh, quite the event. It's been. Uh, Who have we got? We've got Salvo, uh, yes. Jesse, yep. Alberto. Yep. That's right. Hello, Hello Porcelain. How are you doing? Hi. Very cool. Now, what do you think about uh, the last month? Or, and you were critical even well before that, but what, what do you think of mm. Fuentes, Cozy, the degradation and deterioration there? Uh, it's been a fucking hellscape, hasn't it? It's been just one terrible event after another, and it's been snowballing to the point where we're at now. It, I mean, it's hard not to laugh at it. I know that it's kind of getting old hat at this point to laugh at Nick and Cozy because it's just perpetual misery for them, but I mean, you leaving and Bates and all that sort of stuff. There's there's some really big uh, moments there that that I think will do per permanent damage to to their movement. Yeah, and you know it it kind of snowballed. Not that there weren't people already out there uh, against them, but I think um, uh, well, you know, it's just a couple more people who left and high profile. They deleted Bake's channel while he was in jail, and just uh, misstep after misstep. And uh, it's it's like he's lost all um, strategic thinking. Uh, we talked about Ali Alexander. How big of an impact do you think that that's had? monumental and again we're talking about unforced errors here as well we're talking about errors that are just so plainly idiotic and and just so avoidable as well that it's uh it, it's shocking that he's been able to lead a movement for this long if you look at the Ale alexander issue in isolation and you see it you, anybody with any sense could see that nick's position would have been untenable from an optical perspective and and yet he doubled down and doubled down every single time and and it just made everything a lot worse for him. He could have cleaned that up in moments, in seconds, and nobody would have batted an eyelid. No one would have really blamed him specifically for what Ali did if he had taken some personal responsibility, if he if had been a leader. But time and time again, we've just seen with this guy that he has absolutely no demonstrable leadership skills. And he seems to have just gotten by so far by sheer luck and fortune. Yeah, and that's that's a criticism that I've had. Um, he really doesn't have very good leadership skills at all, uh, and he, you know, never really confronts anything directly until he finally has to, and it's already you know bubbled up, and then he gives the wrong answer there too, right? Uh, so it's it's just a complete, and he has all these underlings, and he doesn't really. And I'm gonna let Jaden McNeil just popped in here, uh, and uh, he has these underlings who are kind of inept, and he leaves things to them, and he's inept himself. Uh, now at the beginning of the show, I talked about uh, the last month and and how that's you know added to the downfall basically. Uh, but I, I made it a point to, you know, I don't want to take all the credit because it's not fair uh, because Jaden was out here for well over a year uh, mm. banging the drum and all those uh, materials, all those clips still hold up. And we watched a, a lot of them over the last month. Uh, and I, I'm ashamed to say this, but I really didn't know how hard he was killing it. Uh, and then I, you know, it's like, it's like waking up from a coma or something. And I see all this shit. And I was like, wow, Jaden's been torching this guy, just absolutely killing him for a year. Uh, Jaden McNeil, welcome to the Fuck Cozy Festival. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Very cool. Uh, now, I just want to say, no, I'll, I'll piggyback off of that. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's fantastic. You know, a year ago, I th I think I was the first one banned from Cozy TV, I and see. now uh, we're on what, like 10, 12, 15 people or so. Like half the lineup on this show was, you know, <laughs> anti me, pro Nick, and now here we are. A year later, Nick has burned every single bridge, basically, um, possible. So. You love to see it. Love to see it. Fucking you do. retard. But. You do love to see it. I know Jaden does. He's got like 30 minutes or so, and I appreciate you taking time here. So I'm going to uh, focus on you for a second. Um, sure. What do you think? Um, so you go way back with, with um, Fuentes. What did you think of him when you first met him, uh, when he first brought you in and, and you know, kind of put you in a leadership position there? Uh, and how did that thinking change over time? I mean, obviously, I was a, a fan. I mean, I was big part of the the whole thing groiper were all that but uh you know he went from being the the pro-white guy the anti-immigration guy talking about demographics talking about real politics this that and the other and now uh he's like porcelain's talking about uh sweeping for ali akbar talking about abolishing the age of consent um spurgeon you know before it was optics now he's the the jewish guy every single day so um it uh it didn't take i mean i guess it it took all of us a while you know i was i was wrong about patrick casey you gave me credit you know patrick casey was calling it out way before 
Um, the Keo Casino was calling it out way before, like a lot of the A logs, a lot of people, um, you know, before myself, and uh, they were right. Um, it took us some time to learn, but hey, now we all can come on this stream, say fuck Cozy, fuck Nick. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, hope he's having a great day. I hope he's enjoying. I saw that Brittany's losing her mind on yes. Twitter. I, I can't believe Jesse he, he hacked into uh, Cozy TV, huh? Actually, it's funny you say that. Uh, I literally just tweeted at Brittany, and she said, uh, "Guess he doesn't have access to mine." And so oh, yeah, that's what bullshit. she thinks. That's what well, she thinks. Just I wait. Just said, wait. I, I just told her check your channel. So let's see the bird uh, <laughs> out here in a second. Uh, just give me a second here, Brittany. Don't worry. You better watch her fucking mouth, that bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How about a right smack in the face? You better smart. be careful. She's gonna sick Mio on you, Jesse. You know, <laughs> that's her pit bull. The new pit bulls yeah. of the moment. The new bulldogs of the moment. What about? Yeah, yeah, we're I'm not too worried. I don't know why. Mio. I was in a thing with Mio one time where he was like, uh, you know, whining over and over and over. I don't remember what stream this was, or maybe it was a Twitter space. That's every stream he does. Yeah, I mean, he, this dude could not stop crying, and he kept crying about, like, people, oh, somebody doxed him, Do doxed, I was doxed, I was doxed, or whatever, and, you know, oh, is doxing okay, doxing's bad, and then he, like, I swear to God, in the same fucking 30 minutes he was saying that, he told everyone that he lives in Florida, he gave the area of Florida, they live, like, he gave out, like, three or four different, like, revealing pieces of information on top of what had already been given out. This is uh, maybe one of the dumbest human beings I've ever heard speak. <laughs> and again, I'm saying that knowing he's the co-host of fucking Britney. So that's saying something. That's tough. It really that's is hard to take that title imagine, away from Britney. Go ahead. Imagine being Britney's fucking slave, dude. It's rough. Uh, it's tough. As God was going to say, he's coming on later. Um, Back uh, to the, the Beardson thing. I, yeah, I heard you I was, mention that in the Ali Akbar yeah. thing. Did you and see the stream that I found? Knows. Sorry, I just yeah, had no, to no, up there. No one is live on Cozy now. So. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Hey. Sad. It's By the way, so anyway. I saw that clip. Yeah, uh, go ahead and tell us about it, though. Well, did you see the stream last night? That uh, I Because back during the Kanye thing, you know, I was saying how everyone knew about Ali Akbar. Everyone knew about Ali Akbar. And they're like, oh, Jaden's lying. No one knows what he's talking about. And uh, Beardson, he had Ali on, and he was like uh, – Hey, you know, I know we had some beef back in the day, but we're cool now. You're awesome. You're a genius. We love you, big guy. And uh, when he said that, I was like freaking out on my show. I'm like, he's talking about a show that he did where he called him a pedophile like three years ago. He knew all this stuff. And uh, Beardson denied everything. But I found that stream and uh, played it yesterday. And he's talking about all these soliciting nudes for minors two and a half, three years ago uh, before he was brought back into the fold of things. By the way, um, yeah, and, you know, he he did whitewash all that. Now, I didn't know. Of course, I did do a little defense there when it first happened. I was strung out, too, but still no excuse for that. Uh, but I didn't know all that history, but it was like an open secret, really. Uh, and I even saw Augie said he knew about it, and somebody had warned him because he was going to some place where Ali was going to be, and he was like, they were like, hey, watch out. Uh, this guy is sick. And so it, it really was uh, kind of out there. Yeah. Or, go ahead, Albert, if you want. Ollie is known to like try to like sneak in the parties. Like people will ban him from like their events, but like so they have to like, keep track of like Ollie's friends because when there's like in a like a YouTube event or whatever, fucking Ollie's friends will try to sneak Ollie into the event. So they have to like, keep tabs on everybody. Wait, YouTube events? Why? Because there's children well, not, there. I don't. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know and specifically like, YouTube events. I heard like he does this with parties and shit. And like, let's not forget. Augie RFC is a notorious pedophile enabler. Okay, let me reiterate. No. He went <laughs> he went on he went on vacation with Flamenco after he knew all the details about Flamenco's pedophilia. So of course it, it makes sense that um Augustus RFC would uh you know not blow the whistle about that publicly. So <laughs> I That's love Augie. Straight. I'll just I'll just put that out here really <laughs> on him. All right. Um we love Augie here on the Kill Stream. I'm hoping he'll come on here soon. Salva doing his best. Is he coming? Is, is Augie coming on here? He's he not should come on. Cozy channel I'm next? Is he going to lose his cozy channel next? I'm surprised he hasn't lost it yet. I'm, he's been publicly pro pro me. I'm surprised he hasn't lost it. Well, yeah. I think for a little bit after they banned you, they were trying to kind of play it neutral. Like it's just Jaden. It's just going to be Jaden. So that's why I think they let let him stick around. Yeah, but even but, in the um, last few weeks, I mean, yo, even, yeah, uh, now this makes sense. Fieser spurred out on him because he tried to buy his Wii U, his used Wii U from him. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. you know what? Wait, did he find him out? Because I heard he was going to do that, and then I, I guess I didn't hear the rest of it. But yeah, well, he yeah, he, he reached out to him, and uh, he said, "I'm I'm serious. I'm in good faith. I just want to buy the Wii U." <laughs> and he blocked him and told him to fuck off. So. The Wii U is a great underrated console, by the way. I got one over there and attacked, and I have a bunch of games on it. It's not plugged <laughs> in, but uh, go ahead. Hey, well, that's big. That's yeah. big money, Ralph. That's, that's big money. money. Maybe if I should put it up career, there. Hey, if the stream doesn't work out, you can <laughs> always right. you can always sell it. But I got a whole Jayden. box of video games shit right there. Go ahead, Alberto, and then we'll get Salvo in because he wanted to say something. If I'm correct, didn't RPG buy the Wii U gamepad like by itself? I don't know, dude. I went over his eBay. <laughs> no, the other here's day the on thing. Stream. Here's the thing. If you buy the Wii U without like just the gamepad without the console, it doesn't fucking work. Yeah, I, I, I heard I, I heard that that's something that happened. It's just that'd be really funny if he bought it. Didn't even fucking work. I don't know. I know I went over his eBay account. Uh, he hasn't streamed all week because he's been banking on the eBay. And he has about, I'm not even joking, I think 50 magic bands from Disney for sale. And he has pride bracelets. He has Wakanda Forever bracelets. He has Disney Princess bracelets. And uh, he takes them Bro, from Disney this guy and upcharges them. <laughs> five to ten dollars on his ebay it's not really the, working the mental out, thing so. about that though is is that like not only is he marking the prices up as if teddy fees are owning them gives them more value <laughs> but he he's he's selling them on ebay that like isn't doesn't ebay like take like 12 percent or something of of your your sales so it's any probably. any kind of profit that you you make is offset by that anyway so the whole thing is just the most retarded business strategy ever like i was on stream last night with amiga king pain boot and um he rolled around on the floor like a worm for like thirty dollars, <laughs> and that was more than Teddy Fieser made doing a, 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 his final stream. He's like three hour stream for like for no money. <laughs> Literally, the last King stream he did made zero dollars. You got King Painboo rolling around on the floor like a worm, and then crawling out of his window like a worm, and then back in again like a worm, and then eating coffee granules. Uh, I think he made about sixty dollars in about three minutes. It was brilliant. <laughs> Well, he's way more entertaining than Feezer, honestly. Uh, so that doesn't surprise me. Uh, but I thought that was a meme for the longest. I didn't know, Jaden, that he was actually selling shit on eBay, but he is. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, no, they, they found it within a few days when he described every item he had for sale. It, it didn't take people too long. Um, he described Pokemon Sapphire with the, the label scratched off <laughs> and a few other things. And they, wow. they tracked that down pretty quickly. Lots of Disney princess pins as well, isn't there? There's, um, yeah, it's what, very there's weird. The wristbands, the, of, the pins, the um. How does he have yeah, all these I Disney watches? I just sent you a link, Ralph. The amount of yeah. Disney shit this guy has is just. Let me bizarre. pull it up because Will actually posted in the chat. I'll just pull it up here, uh, and show it on on air for a second because I don't want to like cut out the cameras too long. Um, but here it is, and like I said, I thought this was a joke for the longest, and I was like, oh, they're just making fun of him because his stream sucks and he's not making any money. But it's not a joke. This is the way actually I see eBay listen. Go ahead, Porcelain. You've you've got a guy here that has on record said that um, you know, Cunny posting is not my place, and who has admitted that Nick's uh, age of consent views are nuanced. And now you've got him basically collecting a bunch of Disney princess items, uh, hopefully to sell to children. At what point do we you know ask that sort of question? I think th this is the theme. point to do it. Uh, because how did he get all these? I mean these are the trophies from his victims. <laughs> Every single one of these belong to a now buried child. Why would he have all these? Look at all these. That's Disney what I'm watches. saying, dude. It makes no sense. I mean, he bragged about the Skylander toys that he got from a garage sale, but Skylanders. I don't know about the the Disney. Dude, when he was thing. showing those Skylanders off on stream, as if like people were going to be impressed. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> Uh, and it's not the just one or two century. items. Yeah, it's a it's a bunch of shit on there, uh, and all these Disney watches and little kids' toys and. Well, Ralph, it's an infinite money glitch. Did you never not hear Teddy talk about his <laughs> infinite money glitch? Actually, I did. I did. <laughs> the hear infinite that. money glitch. I did hear that. He's gonna. Fees, you should invest in Dogecoin next. I hear that's gonna be a big thing. <laughs> yeah, or that Obama Sonic Coin, or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> he's gonna make. He's gonna make it big in crypto next. That's the next move. Now, how, Porcelain, how did Feaser get your attention? Um, so I've been kind of like, I was speaking to Zanny about it for quite a long time before it actually happened, because I knew that Zanny was trying to like make Fetch happen with it. And to be fair, he was completely right and completely vindicated. But it was at a time when I didn't think enough had happened. Like it was after the watermarking of, of, of clips. And I thought that was gay and stupid. And I was like, dude, and I spoke to him privately about it. I was like, look, you can't fucking watermark other people's content and pretend like you own it. That's pretty <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> And uh, and so me and Zanny were like talking a, a lot in DMs about it, and he was like, "I don't care. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna make it happen." And I'm like, "All right, I'll 
let's see what happens. And then obviously, uh, the the like I saw like everybody was visa posting. Like it was everywhere. It was all over. You couldn't avoid it. You'd open Twitter and there'd just be a bold head with visa puns <laughs> next to it. And and so like it was just unavoidable. And I got swept up in it. I got swept up in the kind of uh, entertainment of of the whole visa thing. And then obviously the Kino Casino episode happened. Uh, where they uh, played Malice Imagine. with a smile. Malice, malice with, with a, a smile. smile. <laughs> <laughs> so the Malice with a smile episode, and then there's the the episode after that. I'd still kept quiet and kept out of it until this point. But the stream after that, uh, they I think Teddy did a re response stream. So the Kino Casino guys just did, just did a stream where they were just saying Teddy fees over and over again. So I made like two puns in the chat. I think I said uh, feast and desist on one of them, and then I sent. <laughs> I think I sent a super chat in um, saying like a Leahy quote, like, can you feel the fees cling to the air or something? Just really innocuous, like stupid, like puns. And I didn't even use his full name. I just used the word fees. Like, unfeasible. You, you, you still, <laughs> yeah, unfeasible. Um, and so he went bananas and he started saying that I'm doxing him. And <laughs> then he spent 48 hours trying to find my name, uh, which is out there. So I didn't really give a shit, but the it took him 48 hours and it's already it took him, out there? Well, he, he he had it wrong for most of it. He, he kept calling it Alan. And, and he, he tried <laughs> to make puns like part. Horse Alan. Horse and, Alan. And, yeah. So like, <laughs> did he think you were Alan Powell or something? Why did he... <laughs> probably, yeah. I bet you it's that. I bet because he probably got it from that fucking Mersh thing where he reported us to the police. That, well, well, that's that's the key part to it as well. The reason that how he found it is he uh, met, reached out to Mersh and he, he he went to Mersh and he was like, I've just DM'd you or whatever. And then immediately he had my name. So Mersh gave him my name. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I remember when he did that. Shit. Yeah, yeah. There's so, a guy there's a guy in chat now too who must is either Feaser himself or a Feaser guy. He's like, search up, he's got your real name. He's like, search up, yeah. search him up. Like the, these guys all think they're gonna find like what are they gonna find? What is that? I know. Like the it's been was it's been out there since like 2016, 17. Like it yeah. was, it, it was the Opie and Anthony subreddit, like where it all came out, and uh, like it had my my face was plastered all over that. There was video clips of me and everything. That was that was all. I don't know what the fuck's happened to any of them. But it, it was distributed hours everywhere. To find this? Yeah, I mean, he was in this guy's Telegram. He's retarded. He's like it, the worst like, dox ever. <laughs> yeah, he was in a private Telegram chat, and all those leaks came out obviously where he was you know in there sort of just digging through my bins it was really <laughs> really uncomfortable but well, i mean if that's how he wants to get the his best rock was the best was what's that clip he looks super unhinged he's like i'm pissing on you because i oh, love you God, yeah yeah so <laughs> that was the uh, best bro is there archives of, bro that whole archive has on on the cozy channel can we get him on that cozy? Was the, that's what i'm watching right now we know you're watching like, you, now. You watching. like get it. Just give him the cozy channel. I could have gotten him on cozy about <laughs> an hour ago. But, <laughs> but the, the thing is, even if you have a name of somebody in the UK, you're not going to be able to find them because it's not like the US, right? Like, I mean, right. it's very yeah. hard. Even if you have their name and picture, like, uh, you know, here, you know, if you have their name, birthday, uh, you're going to be able to find them. Well, not here in Mexico, but <laughs> in the United States, like, it's very, it's very easy. But uh, in UK and Europe, it's not easy. Porcelain. Yeah. Besides, like, I, I don't care. Like, if he, if he found out every single infinite detail of my life, I, I don't really care. I just like, hope he doesn't find out my name. That's all. I'm worried <laughs> about that. Yeah. Like, what a fucking retard, man. Anyways. It's but then, um, make, but, but just to, to tag on to Teddy oh, Feaser archive. Somebody, can somebody please and try make a Teddy Feaser archive rumble? Because he's wiped everything. I want to be able to rewatch and clip all of these streams. We have to go back to like the tiny Mikey Simperto stream and just put oh, every God, single stream. Somebody what? needs to do that. Well, you started this, Michael. It. it was well, hasn't fault. he deleted a lot of that stuff though? Dude, he deleted it's all everything. Gone. He deleted all everything. Gone. So Ralph, um, just sure. to just to cap off the little Teddy story, I've sent you a DM um, okay. of Ted, me and Teddy's DM. So there's a little DM chain there, and it's pretty entertaining. I think people would enjoy it that haven't seen it yet. But this was the sort of the end of the well the culmination of me and Teddy Feaser. I then passed him on to Jaden and me and Jaden were talking and I was like Teddy's yours now and uh that's well, that, at the time I was still trying life. to talk him off the ledge you know every day said, like I, every day in my group chat for like two weeks straight <laughs> that's what you said you know he sat in a call Ralph for eight hours after the Kino <laughs> Casino played the Imagine clip <laughs> He sat in a group chat in his mod <laughs> chat for eight hours what? trying to come up with a response and he was typing up a script to respond. Yeah. Well it's he crazy. Was writing scripts. 
Well, we played that like I don't even know a year, year and a half ago, maybe longer than that. Like it's been out there. I guess he's just so hurt uh, because the casino played it, Jaden, and you know he thought you guys were friends. I mean, he's the one who destroyed all that. Now I had a hand in it because uh, I throw out that truce offer, which was. You know, well, I have my yeah, fingers crossed. And honestly, credit <laughs> where credit's do. due. Like, yeah, no shit. You know, we're going back and forth, and uh, for no reason at all, he's like, "Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, I want to make truce with these." It probably was when the Ali Akbar stuff came out. You know, hindsight 2020. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, when that all came out, it makes looking back. That's probably when he started to change his tone. He realized that Nick and crew agreed with him on that key issue. But yeah, I mean, he he talked to you about the truce or whatever. And every single person in that chat was like, uh, why? What are you doing? Like, Roth hasn't changed anything. He's going to just continue to fuck with you. And he's like, well, it's worth it. It's worth, you know, this whole public groveling thing. If as long as uh, if I get 10 minutes of peace from Ralph, then it's worth it. And it's like. Well, I never expected him to entertain it, uh, but I saw him struggling. Well, most people didn't. Most people were like, what, what are you doing? It's like this whole mod chat. Literally, I think in that, within a three hour span of that, I think probably he lost 60, 65% of the people in that chat. They're it like, was, what the fuck is wrong with you? It was you bizarre. And, and I even wrote it kind of in a funny way, uh, too, on Twitter. And I was like, surely to God, he won't. He won't entertain us. But he did. And this was before I left Cozy, before, you know, I. I just switch back to the old Ralph kind of, and you know, uh, I, I, my mind was just boggled. I guess he just wanted some kind of peace with somebody, but I'll ask you this, Jaden, uh, and porcelain, anybody can weigh in. Why didn't he just roll with the name Feaser? Because it's already out there. It's Bro. very strange, but it's Dude. catchy, right? Like he should just call himself Feaser, right? Am I wrong, Jaden? No, that would make way more sense. I mean, everyone knows it. It's honestly, it's a better name than our red pill gang TV anyway, yeah. <laughs> but, um, I, I, I see some people in the chat, some of these RPG heads. RPG's been running with this narrative that, uh, well, you made truce. You're talking to him right now. And uh, I, I don't think they after. understand. Porcelain put out a whole long post about this, and he was right. Um, but RPG, let me try to explain this to you uh, in baby terms. But Ralph was against us, and we were on this side of the fence. Ralph then walked over to us or me and said hey i agree with you you jump to the other side it's really not that complicated um it's know, not complicated but. at all and he uses that talking point and it's like well i i changed sides right like i mean i i changed mm -hmm. i changed what i was doing i changed what i was saying i made some apologies uh ralph went from cozy to calling ali akbar a gay pedophile i can you know i can get behind calling ali akbar a gay pedophile i don't know what to tell you yeah, and again, yeah. it's just it's just mind boggling how he switched up. And I, I literally and I've said this a million times now, but I reached out to him in DMs and I said, man, this is kind of a tragedy. Uh, you know, why don't you get back on side here? And, you know, you kind of help pioneer a lot of this stuff. You were out there way early talking about a lot of this stuff and a lot of that stuff still holds up. Uh, and now you just completely disavowed all that right at the moment when it was, you know, time. Like, right. he's about to pay dividends, and then he backed out. I don't know, Jay. You can weigh in. I know Alberto wants to say something, too. Go for it, Alberto. Well, yeah, but, like, me me and uh, Rob, we were talking about this on my, my Kickstream, I think, about a week ago. It's like he he's in an, a great position because his name can be used as a verb, and it's funny. Yeah. And instead of capitalizing on that and being like, like, imagine if, like, RPG challenges you to a debate and he just says, I'm going to feed you up on stream right now. Like, that would have been perfect branding. But instead, he's allowed it to be basically used as like a synonym for spurging, as, as like a negative <laughs> connotation. And he mm. could have made it a positive one. And he's too retarded to do that. How do you see what Ralph has done in the wake of all of this and not realize, like, oh, even the A-logs, even the trolls, right. they're willing to, like, Oh, if you're willing to go to the right side, the funny side, the good side, then everybody's willing to go with you on that journey. And you're right. The, the fucking Feaser thing, it it was already, your name is now a meme and you're not capitalizing right. on that. <laughs> and the thing nobody, I think the thing that everybody's forgetting in all of this and the most important key to all of this, and I can't believe it hasn't come up so far, is when he posted that photo of himself, he's got a toupee on the man's ball. <laughs> Well, you know what's funny about Am I that? Is he, crazy he, here? He look, uh, that hair is insane, right? Really nice. interesting. Really interesting. That's the only photo where you can see his hair. Yeah, and then he never did another one. There was no follow up. Like, no, <laughs> look, a logs. Well, in that in that eight hour call, I was telling him the same thing, Alberto. I I wasn't in. I jumped in there for ten minutes, weighed in, and then left because I saw he was spurging in there. Like I checked in a few, and then 
in the middle of it i'm like what's going on in here and i told him hey just play the imagine song as your intro and laugh about it and move on and he's like no i can't they're disrespecting <laughs> me i'm going to war it's like i think that's a mistake but whatever well, that's, man that's it like it was never that the, ralph asked the question why doesn't he wouldn't he embrace the fisa thing and it was never because it was a dox or because he was uh morally outraged about somebody digging through his his name and all that sort. it's not that it's just that the guy is completely thin-skinned and doesn't like being Retarded. made fun of and, well, it's and it, he's, he's so thin-skinned that he's that he's willing to literally turn on everybody that had supported him including people that had donated including ultras who paid for his new computer and paid him thousands and thousands well i think every dollars. mod that he had i think he lost about uh like i don't know 20 plus of them but um it's the same thing as with fuentes i mean they're so pride he's so prideful he'll never admit that he's wrong same with fuentes he'll double down triple down quadruple down and now they're unironically defending uh pedophilia so it's a, it's a tough day for cozy tv it's rough it it's is a rough. Hell of a fall. Why, why are you being a dishonest cocksucker about this Jaden? <laughs> yeah you fucking cocksucker every single every dude those big tech messages too you should pull them up Rob. oh yeah so, you know see. i'll pull up portions i don't have yeah i don't have my ones tech. my ones are good i think big techs are better but my ones are, are briefer quicker and it just gives you a real like rundown of teddy's brain it's so I, I have a video of that but i'm gonna pull up and anton sent that to me but I, i'm gonna pull up the is there does it is it read through on the video uh, i don't know i have to look uh but these i saw these when they happened uh rpg says the fuck is your problem man person goes i don't have a problem at all <laughs> i'm zen you're just being a dishonest worm about this <laughs> i don't think i am but uh but whatever you want to think it's cool man or wait you want to think it's cool man uh, passive aggression is for women time to man up bro and then you say a couple things he says you're acting like a total pussy but whatever that's obviously just who you are this totally detached whatever man charade is completely transparent and porcelain just goes fair enough man uh i don't know what to tell you i'm just not that bothered by all this what is happening is very funny to me uh you don't understand why a person might take issue with you having fun at their expense is that actually lost on you or are you just being bad faith as fuck? i already know the answer porcelain <laughs> says I just, I've said my piece on it. I don't really have much to add. Got it. No hard feelings. LML, go fuck yourself. Do you have autism? You don't get to pull that scum maneuver, then say no hard feelings. Maybe if you had the decency to apologize, I'd reconsider. But you chose arrogance. LML, this is all in your head. Nah, you're just an ignorant retard. We see things. You're so calm in this. Way. We see things differently on this. It's no big deal. No, we don't. I've got no hate for you, RPG. I did like you. I thought you were chill and honest. I enjoyed the few interactions we had. They felt sincere, and I thought you had decent moral character. But after this, you can fuck off forever. I'm sorry you feel that way. I don't hate you. You repeat while continuing to act like a slimy scumbag on the timeline. How about apologizing for being such a cocksucker? LML, I have no idea what you're even doing at this point. This is insane supervillain shit. What were you going to say, Jaden? No, I just said, there it is. There's the cocksucker line. Yeah. Yeah. I've repeated myself numerous times to you. You've refused to hear me out. I don't know if that's due to a, men a mental condition or low integrity. <laughs> but either way, you've been a total shitbag about this. I disagree, but it's all good. Steel, steel man me this, then. I don't even know what, he, what that is. Uh, I've, I've tw and then you, Porcelain says, I've tweeted my thoughts already. Don't really have anything to add to that. None of this matters. Point proven. And then Porcelain gives a thumb up, thumbs up, and Teddy gives a middle finger. Well, that's rude, Porcelain <laughs> said. Joking aside, can I please keep my wrench? <laughs> can I please keep my wrench in chat, though? No. But if you didn't mention it, I wouldn't have removed it. So thanks for the reminder. And then a sad, disappointed <laughs> face there. Uh, oh, you've no idea how amazing it is to hear Ethan Ralph read that DM <laughs> chain. That was yeah. Kino. That was better than Indians doing it. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the top streamer on Cozy. I mean, he brought in, he's bringing in the top tier talent. He brought in CWC. Uh, he's been sitting there with like the, the gay uh lights I, I don't know what he does on his show but um it's gonna be him and now rpg rpg is gonna carry that site and then jesse's gonna hack his channel yep sorry yeah listen uh I, and again and the most important thing and we can't forget this at all he is a bald guy i mean what is this what the fuck is that, <laughs> is, that a, is that some sort of russian hat <laughs> what am i looking at? Also, it looks like a terrible about, hair transplant can we also talk about the weird fucking Trump reverse butthole eye thing? No one ever, I feel like I'm going crazy when I look at Teddy Feaser and no one's ever talking about 
the fact that his eyes are white around them in that odd way. What is happening there? <laughs> he wears makeup. Does he really? Yeah, the yeah. mascara, yeah. He's he a does. real showman. Yeah, he's God, somebody I, in the I, I wish he had snapped that picture on a really windy day. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I Maybe it was look. windy. I don't know. Look at that flag in the background. Is that waving? I don't know. Maybe it's just glued on. It's it's, it's, it's like the one on the moon, you know, where they've got the <laughs> rod out, so it always looks like it's waving. It's just so funny as fuck that he posted that as a as a declaration of victory, having like <laughs> been told to like never yeah. talk about Ultros again. Yeah, he and said like, victory. He actually said my face when I win. <laughs> he came out there being told by a judge, never say ultros again, and now he has to abide by that, and that's a victory for you? That, that's if a that's your won. face when you win, I'd hate to see you when you fucking lose, dude. Jesus yeah. Christ. Well, listen, it's the year of RPGs, getting his cozy channel. It's what he always wanted, yeah. you know? I think he was always jealous of me and Jaden because we had cozy channels. I think oh, he yeah. was. I think he was always jealous about it. Well, that's the funny thing about him and CWC coming on to Cozy is when all of us were on that website, they were desperately trying to get on and they got told to fuck off. And now Nick has to uh, bring them on and uh, it's rough. Burn every single bridge. But By the way, I was getting some messages from Baker. He actually messaged me earlier. I could have brought him on. He was supposed to come on at eight, uh, but we had some uh, fiery uh, uh, entrances there. Uh, and I just now saw it on my phone. So I was messaging him. Uh, Zanny Berries uh, says this. Teddy, sorry I astroturfed a smear campaign to ruin your life. It was nothing personal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is actually accurate. That's exactly what happened. They got bored and they decided they just picked feeds out of the fucking crowd and was like, yeah, we're going to do you now. By the way, I'll bring Bake on for a minute. He's supposed to come on later. I would have brought him in. I still want to have him later, uh, but I'll bring him on. I think he wanted to uh, talk to you guys while while this group was still here. Mm. Uh, I'm going to play the uh, Josh Moon uh, exclusive here in a bit uh, as well. Baked, if you're listening, I'll send that to you on um, on Twitter, and then you can pop on and say a few things. Uh, let me see here. I'll go ahead and send that uh, right now. Um, Wait, is Josh see. Moon not coming on? Is it just a recording you guys did? Yes, it's a recording, Michael. I know you wanted to talk to to him uh but it's, over. Uh, it's so over. stop stop ruining the illusion that he was going to be here live uh but it's uh <laughs> but i said that at the top it of the counts. show it counts yes it, it's, counts. it still counts and i, I wasn't uh, he wasn't able to stream today but uh, he graciously uh set some time aside for us to record this he didn't even get to do his own stream uh so it's still good and uh nobody's seen it yet so it's still new content mm -hmm. um also there's 450 people on the old channel 1900 here and like i don't know 100 on kick so uh, 23, 2400 watching the Fuck Cozy Festival live now. Uh, we'll see if uh, Bake can pop in uh, for a second. Uh, I know Jaden doesn't have much time. I think he wanted to come on while you and, and all these people were here for a minute. Um, now, um, any any help, any help hope for Feaser to turn it around, Porcelain? Oh, that's a big question. No. <laughs> um, on, I mean, I've been speaking a lot late. to I've been speaking a lot to like Big Tech about this because he's he's certain that he can redeem Teddy Feaser. And I'm very interested to see if that could actually happen. So I'll be open to it. Like, if Teddy wants it, uh, the olive branch has been extended, and I'll happily let bygones be bygones. Um, but we'll see. I don't think he's capable of it because that would require a lot of, um, you know, uh, self awareness and and sort of reflection on his part. And I don't know if he's necessarily capable of that. I think that we've seen by his heel turn with Nick originally, and then what's happened now. That uh, yeah, I mean, too too much has happened, surely. Jay, did you hear that? Big Red Gang is back. <laughs> Based, yeah, that's uh. For those of you who don't know, when uh, RPG feased out on me, he was like, "Fuck Jaden, I'll just team up. I'm teaming up with Big Tech now. Big Red Gang." No, oh, yeah, uh, Big yeah. Tech went on his show and called him autistic, and he fucking lost it. <laughs> Weren't they originally planning to do like a weekly sweat? type show at some point the weekly bean or whatever the fuck yeah. it was yeah big tech proposed that to him it didn't right didn't pan out oh but or teddy so what do you think uh not to change oh i am i'll i'll let you guys keep no talking. no go ahead no no Ralph, what a, you know i know you're a big fan of vegas and i saw <sighs> nick is in vegas right now with keith woods to celebrate his birthday what do you think he's getting up to down there i saw that plenty of debauchery to be had there in vegas that picture was really weird i i didn't realize just how big a nose uh, Nick Fuentes had until that picture. His nose is fucked. Like it looked like that Groper's nose that got busted yesterday. Uh, I, I don't know. He's starting to look more and more like his dad. Uh, and then uh, he's got a certain heritage there. We've, oh, I won't go into that. But uh, and then his hairline. <laughs> I, I never. That's a really good picture of his hairline. Like how he does this crazy, 
whatever the fuck that is at the top of his hair, but you can see that like the hairline actually starts like at the middle of his skull, uh, Jaden, or you know, close to the middle there. Uh, it was. Uh, all, I mean, the thing I noticed was the Balenciaga. He's still, yeah. he's still rocking the Balenciaga after the whole pedophile scandal, which fits, I guess. I think he got with, that's probably some free shit he got from Ye, isn't it? Like, I don't know, but yeah, or, probably, which yeah. kind of defeats the whole purpose of like owning designer if you own yeah. Yeah. like two two shirts and just wear them <laughs> repeatedly. It's not it's really, like, it's like really stealing flag, ballot for like but you know, whatever. fashionable people. Well, Kanye wears like one thing just one time and throws it in the garbage. <laughs> right. and he dumps or die. <laughs> Didn't got that out. He's all mine now. Perfect. Uh, Baked is here. The shoulder pads. Yoba. What the? Yo, what's up? What's up? What the? What's, what's up, up, everybody? What's, what's up, up Cozy, cozy is fucking gay. Um, this is amazing. There, there, there's actually been an amazing fuck cozy miracle today. I don't know if you guys saw this. It's, it's kind of crazy. You leave cozy, your life gets a lot better once you uh, get away from the pedophile cult and the Groypers and Nick Fuentes. Um, you know, having a great birthday, by the way. Uh, news just broke out. Breaking news. Uh, the D.C. Court of Appeals actually ruled that uh, my probation is unconstitutional uh, for all the J6ers that got uh, misdemeanors because they cannot give you a prison sentence and probation. They can only give you one or the other. And I already did my sentence. So as early as Monday, my attorney has told me uh, Yoba is going to be off probation. And it was a two year probation, which is fucking insane. So, oh, yeah. uh I, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed until I'm actually off, but uh, that that did break today. So just wow. just to, uh, tell you guys that very oh, cool. Huge. And it is funny how you leave cozy like and it. good things just start happening, uh, like <laughs> like divine right? intervention. Uh, yeah, it's funny. Uh, Red Pill Gaming TV with a super chat. Wow, see, we knew he was watching. Uh, I see this super chat here. He's kind of bitter though. He's, it doesn't sound like he's gonna take the offer, porcelain. You're all bad oh. faith cocksuckers. Stay mad, pissolin. You know I won. <laughs> I would say to check the tapes, but Fuentes told me to remove them if I want that channel. Please follow me at cozy.gov slash Red Pill Faggot. Uh, so there we go. <laughs> Pissling. There's nothing worse than a guy who's bad at doing, uh, oh. you know, like nicknames. Yeah. Uh, you know, he just looks up to Trump and the funny nicknames Trump does, and he thinks right, right. he's doing. Pissling. Tiny? It's like he's <laughs> is he retarded? Is it, I, I, I'm actually asking. Is he? I, I don't really watch. Is he, could what he I'll actually go. have Down syndrome? Yes. Okay. You know what he calls me? Oh Wait, God, no! What? It's worse when you want to say it. Uh, you go ahead. Tiny Mikey Simberto. That is the name. <laughs> that was yeah. kind of funny. <laughs> it's, well, it's funny because it's so bad. It's, it's like that's so bad it's good. There's too I much in there. Exactly what I said. That's no, I like it. I really? think it was perfect. Yeah, that one fits. Yeah, that one that one fits you. Yeah. Well, that one didn't work out. So then he changed it to Make a Wish Michael. So Make a Wish Michael's pretty good too. He's got to do better than this. Make a Wish Michael's pretty good. Pissolin, though, is really bad. Yes. You've got to wonder how he goes. Because I love snake. you. Oh, the Slither War Snake is the worst Wait, one. Wait, guys, like, are, are, are we going to sing Happy Birthday to Nick? I don't, should we do it now? Do yeah, I think we should. Uh, do we have the boys here, you know? I'm, I'm going to have to not because I vowed to never sing Happy Birthday on stream after Mersh did it. So. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I told, I told okay, Ralph. I told, did we get Mersh to sing Mersh. Happy Birthday to Nick? Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. Yeah. I Mersh like Mersh. I don't, I like Mersh. I, I realize there's some beefs here or whatever, but Mersh, I, 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 I Mersh, would be Mersh, surprised. Mersh, Mersh, Mersh. No, no, no. Mersh rejected. Hang on, hang on. This is Mersh's redemption arc for us, for those of us. Exactly. If he sings "Happy Birthday" to Nick for us, then we're pro merch guys. Yeah, Porcelain takes down the five-hour documentary about him. <laughs> you know what's I, hilarious about it being his birthday is, uh, like three months ago on my birthday, he tweeted out screenshots of a girl saying I kissed her at a party, like trying to own me on my birthday, and it's like, <laughs> look at this, Jaden's a simp or whatever. Um, and here we are, three months later, and like all of his top streamers are here with me, laughing at Nick. It's it's kind of, uh, kind of funny, <laughs> funny how, how the ball bounces. Down, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. funny how the ball bounces. And yeah, that was always strange how he would try to own you with like, oh, Jaden was talking well, to a girl. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, I don't know if you remember this or if you even saw these or pulled these up, but if you remember his his initial own when I when I left was to post photos that he took of me over the course of three years when I was asleep yeah. that I didn't know existed. So that you know, it's kind of along that line of uh, own. Where by the way, those are strange. <laughs> and we watched the Dumper Wars clip, and I've never actually watched that, yeah, that but it's clear that you're uncomfortable, like, and you're digging into him. Actually, it's hilarious uh, because you're actually like hitting him uh, with some uh, nice uh, barbs there. Um, you know what's funny about that yeah. is, uh, and if he ever gets unbanned again, which you know he nuked his account when he did on Twitter, but uh, there are DMs from after that where he messaged me and he's like, "You need to quit talking about boxing me. You need to quit bringing up fighting. I'm the leader of this thing. You need to have respect. How do you think it makes me look when you're talking about boxing Jayden. me, beating me up, and talking <laughs> about how short I am? I'm not even making that up. Like he was Jayden. pressed. Yeah. Request oh. your Twitter archive. You should be able to find it in there. Is that real? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it depends. Sometimes they do show up. But, you know, I, it's funny you said that because we were watching. And I was like, I guarantee you he was mad. I was like, I guarantee you he was mad at some of these things Jaden said. Uh, but, I mean, he brought it on himself. He's just, like, very weird and creepy. And you're even like, stop, dude. Like, stop. Uh, and you're trying to laugh it off. But, like, it was just really strange yeah. see, uh, and weird. See, I personally think it's a funny move to take pictures when, like, someone's, like, sleeping. You know, well, I, I would, one you, picture. Could, you could think that, yeah, I've said that if it's like one or like yeah. you draw a dick on them or something yeah. like, okay, whatever. But to collect these over the course of three years and not tell the person, I don't know. Kind yeah. of, and then release them as an own. As yeah, like, the thing, hey, look at I this. Like you I like it. <laughs> no, the thing that's really weird about, about it though, is, is that it like, if he took them and then distributed them as a kind of like, haha, look at you here, there and there, it, then that's one thing, but he kept them and kept them to himself in his private collection. And well, there's then, like one or two or where it's like, oh, look, Jaden, like I was drinking or whatever. So it's like, look, he fell asleep next to like alcohol where it's like he, he could have oh, yeah. ran with, oh, Jaden's an alcoholic. But then it's like I'm in a car asleep. I'm uh, on a couch. I'm on baked Alaska's couch. And he's like looming over me. There's uh, one on a train. It's just like, just I don't know. One. It sounds, like, uh, it sounds like Nick should do the sleepy test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's don't just around Salvo either. Apparently, <laughs> it's just creepy. <laughs> like, like we said, if it's one or two pictures, but like, I don't know what he was doing with these pictures, right? Like, I don't know. It's just kind of creepy. Um, Salvo said it's cool though, so I think it's funny. I think it's a funny move to uh, take many pictures as you can of anybody sleeping, you know, just to have no sexual perversion thing, right. just to, right. you know, use as a gag. I'm all you know what it. you know what fucks it up though is that he he always does them as a selfie, like he's oh, in fucked. the picture. No, oh yeah, just, that is weird. If you that just took creepy pictures of you sleeping, then that would be funny. But well, they were a mixture. Yeah. It was a mixture. He did both. <laughs> oh, he did. Both. Okay, so no some of were cool. No. Yeah, that uh, was just strange. Can I can I read a text, Ralph? I, I actually sure. came uh, across something. I, I was just randomly looking through like old shit, and uh, I just want to read this because. So, does anybody remember when I had Jaden on my cozy stream? And I actually defended Nick. This was a while ago. Yeah, I was uh, talking about that earlier because I had Jaden okay. on like the next day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like, I've always been a a dude that's like, I just like to talk to everybody. Like, I don't care. I don't care if someone's in a gay beef. Like, I'm about the content. I'm about what's funny. Well, we were arguing, know? so I don't even like. Yeah, we were yeah, arguing. Yes. So exactly. So like, Jaden was in my chat, and I'm like, he was calling me a fed, and I'm like, dude, it's a little more complicated. I'm not a fed. You know, I didn't snitch on anybody, blah, blah, blah. Some people got more time. Some people got less. There's like all these different judges and it's fucking complicated. Hey, hey, by the way, there, there's people that were not charged in January 6th. <laughs> uh, Nick Fuentes, uh, Elijah Schaefer, who tweeted out Nancy Pelosi's emails. Huh, I think we need to look into that, don't we? And Nick telling people to break the law. No, no jail time, no probation, nothing, never charged, never on the FBI, most wanted list. No, of course, that that's... Very, very strange because today, Why Enrique you? Tario, love him or hate him, they're asking for 33 fucking years for the dude. Right. He was not even in D.C. on the 6th. Why do you he, think that is, Baked? Um, Because they're going after the Proud Boy leaders, which would be Enrique, Joe Biggs, Rufio. Like, they just want to, like, basically take out the Proud Boys leadership and be like, like, make an example of them and scare people. Like, you can't be a Proud Boy. You can't be in some, like pro-Trump fraternity or you're going to be in jail for the rest of your life. I mean, that's why I think they're do you doing think, it. 
do you think potentially as well that like the Proud Boys are kind of like there's not really much to saturate from them if you're a federal um if, if you work for the feds or whatever like that like there's really nothing else you can get from the Proud Boys at this point they're kind of a dead organization they're kind of like a bit well, of an yeah. inside joke whereas nick still has stuff that he could give you know he's 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 pretty much you know he's, he's hot in the sphere and everything and uh you, you know with his link ups with sneeko and zerka and all that and oh uh, yeah you know, like like they're still you know like cooperating and monitoring right. them they, they need to milk him a little bit more before yeah i mean that's possible i didn't really think of that but um i i, I anyways i i wanted to read this because so i had Jaden on i was a hundred percent on Nick's side. I was defending him and bro. It, and this is the problem with Nick too. He was seething. Like he just lit me up in some texts like right after. So I'm gonna, gonna read that here. So, um, so I thought it was a good stream. Like I said, defend Nick. So he texts me just totally seething, bro. You shouldn't have had him on talking about Jaden. You didn't push back hard enough either. Let him be a faggot seething loser over on his Island. We don't need to platform him or treat him like a human being. He's a subhuman lying sack of shit. And I'm like, I gave him enough rope to hang himself with. I didn't need to say much. LOL. <sighs> because I believe we should just like, if someone's retarded, just let him speak. You know, just, just like let, let people can decide for themselves. You don't need to like manipulate and like be a control freak about the situation. That's fucking gay. That's like anti-content. And he's like, you gave that fag a platform on Cozy. He wants attention. And he wants to antagonize America first. You're just giving him what he wants. He has been trying to goad America first into engaging with him for months. And you just gave him what he's been desperate for. What did he do for months? What do you mean? That's no. the whole reason I even did it for the first place. Like went on the casino was because he wouldn't shut the fuck up. And he kept yeah. talking like he kept threatening me. So I'm like, okay, here we go. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I just want to drop that that little leak there because it's like... This dude has been a fucking like narc for fucking years, just like anti content, trying to control, manipulate behind the scenes, trying to shut it down. Like if anyone's having fun or having an open conversation or being honest, like the only world Nick Fuentes can operate in is a world with threats and extortion and like all this like fucked up shit. And I mean, honestly, that's why it doesn't surprise me. Like, Ali Alexander probably does have some fucking dirt on him. I mean, that would make sense because that's really the world, uh, you know, Nick operates in. Well, it's working really well for him. I never, uh, I, I told Porcelain this when we were playing video games, but uh, I haven't said this like on a big show or anything. But before uh, I got on that leafy call when we were just in the lobby um, and it was just Nick and I in the call. Immediately, he's like, what the fuck's your problem? Why the fuck have you been, you know, it's been a year. What the fuck's wrong Holy with you? Shit. And I was like, weren't you the one that threatened me? Like I said, I was going to go get a job. Like, weren't you the one that threatened me and said you were going to destroy my life and follow me everywhere? And he's like, it was a year ago. <laughs> so I took that as like, yeah, you're losing and you're mad. Like yeah. you, you didn't think it would go this way. And uh, I didn't think it'd go this way either, to be honest. You know, I figured I'd be playing video games for 20 people. I, I didn't think anyone would really listen to what I had to say, but. Yeah, it's uh, it's not going so he, well over there for him. He, he had watches, to fly Keith Woods in just to hang out I saw with someone. That. He Go watches ahead. he watches your stream like a hawk. Uh, oh, I know. I mean, every single night, uh, and I'm not kidding. And he would send me messages sometimes, like this Jay's doing this, and oh my god, he's playing your clip, and he took it down. And I'm dead yeah, serious. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, I'm dead he serious. Also he's like strike him, DMCA yeah, him. Yeah, played, I'm not kidding. He played your clip. Yeah, yeah, I'm not kidding. He also and did that with Beardson too. Yeah, go ahead, Alberta. He also pays attention who's in chat because I think he was mad that like Augie was posting in your chat for a little bit. So he was mad about that too. I don't know. But he pays attention. It was startling to me attention. because, yeah, sure. you know, I was doing my own thing and honestly, I you know, I wasn't paying much attention to it, right? And I'm like, I was kind of startled. I was like, this guy's sitting here watching every second of Jaden's content. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you bizarre. pay attention, he'll like wait until my show's over sometimes yeah. and go live like right after. Yep. 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 Uh, you're living rent free in his brain for nope. sure, dude. Well, like, now we all are. I mean, that's the funny <laughs> thing is it was like, yeah, you know, all targets on, on me, like even the casino, like they were effective. They were doing their thing. They were right. But he, he like didn't have the personal beef with them or whatever. So he, he was mad at me. And now there's you, Ralph, all these other yeah. people from Cozy. And uh, no, I can only time. imagine. I can only. Yeah. 109 literally. friendships. <laughs> 
Now let me ask you this, Jaden. Are you are you glad he did that? I mean, I'm assuming yeah, because uh, you know, uh your stream. Glad that he went after me like yeah, that. I mean, yeah. yeah, because I think it's I mean, not to get all like moral fact. Here's the funny thing about being on the side. One, it is like you're you're right, it is the right thing to do, but also it is content, it is funny, they're fucking gay. Um, but yeah, I mean, not to get like super on a you know, my soapbox or whatever, but yeah, I mean you look at Omega King Boo, you look at these guys that are destroying their lives. Um like, yeah, it needs to be taken down. I, unfortunately, you know, opened my mouth in college, got involved in this, ruined a lot of job opportunities, whatever. And, uh, you know, for the internet career, for the streaming stuff, it's it's fantastic. But um, the Ali Akbar stuff, him going after Smiley, him going after Lance videos, doxing people, telling, like, how many Groypers were arrested? Like 30-something, and he's fucking not helped a single one of them, threw them all under the bus, called them Jewish, vaccinated, told them to rot in prison, burn in hell. Like, this guy... He, he's just he's actually like his actions are um affecting young men and uh not in a positive way and dude i got a i got go a ahead. question about uh ollie because like you, you know you used to be a political guy you were invited to i think mara lago correct oh uh, when i was a turning point yeah how powerful is ollie behind the scenes in right-wing politics well i mean i he was always uh around back then like just in general because he i think he was a lot larger then i now i don't i don't know the the connection like when i was in turning point um he was known i heard stories about him then i told nick obviously um nick knew everybody knew about that freak show back then it was basically just known to avoid the guy and that he had connections whatever the fuck that means but yeah. By the way, I see Helix Kirby in the chat. A stray groiper in there, just spreading bullshit. Oh, no. It's sad. It's oh sad. no. <laughs> uh, it's well, rough. I mean, can you blame them? Look at Cozy. I mean, they have their option is Jimbo, uh, which, by the way, you know, I liked Jimbo back in the day. He was one of the like closest streamer buddies or whatever. And uh, the fact that he's still over there after everything that's gone down, you know, he's friends with me. He's friends with Bake. He was really good friends with Shallot in the way that uh, Nick used Shallot's death to go after his enemies and just lie it's it's pretty disappointing to see him still over there but yeah and you, you mentioned king pain i'm like i shouldn't say this but uh, you know we had him on the show we did a fundraiser and then big tech was like we can't give him the money until he goes to jail because he's gonna give it to nick yeah and no then, and he's right he's, he's right because really look right. king pain was trying to convince me last night he's like look you can send it to me and i won't tell anybody and i, and I was like mm. <laughs> and then he goes i swear he said this and I'm not trying to like make fun of him or whatever, but he goes, well, if I want to send, if I want to send a super chat chat to Nick, I'll just send him three dollars. And I was like, motherfucker! Uh. I was like, no! Like, what are you saying? Like, uh, like even when he was trying to get the money, right? Like, he still just couldn't keep it out of his mouth or out of his keyboard. And he's like, well, I'll just give him three dollars, maybe. And I was like, no, don't give him any dollars! Like, what the fuck are you doing? Uh. Yeah, he really believes that like all it's gonna take is like. I mean, first of all, he thinks that if Nick watched one episode of Naruto, this whole thing will be over and Nick will be <laughs> saved, which is the funniest thing. <laughs> but yeah, he really thinks like if he could just get the right person to get into Nick's ear, then like he will actually listen. Like he was trying to do that with big tech. And he's now like he he's really because he was saying the same thing to me last night. And he said, like, yeah, if only I could just send this three dollars to Nick, um, maybe he'll uh, you know, maybe he'll listen to me and maybe. And, and this was after he was. I mean, I, I hate to see it, but King Pain is going to get a pretty negative reaction because he's been incredibly critical of, of a lot of things over the last sort of three days or so. Well, did you see Vado was messaging him, telling him that he needs to change his name because he's uh, like yeah. Roypers, uh, because he's, was, he played <laughs> Rust with us? Like, yeah, well, baked, baked. Like, we were talking allowed. the other day, like... <laughs> Uh, didn't he get a text from a groiper like halfway oh, through? Oh yeah, yeah. Me, shut it down. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, me and Porson were talking to him, and we we're talking about his fundraiser and prison time and all this shit. And like out of nowhere, he got a phone call, and he was like, "Hello, hello." And we're like, "Up." Oh, he got the call, and we were kind of joking. And he's like, "Oh yeah, it was a groiper. Like they told me, you know, you guys are bad." And we're like, "What?" Like the groipers <laughs> are so fucking insecure that they got to run damage control they got a fucking call in real time to some yeah. like guy who's streaming to 50 viewers and shut it down like that that's winning folks right that, that's that's uh yeah cozy know. and america first it, it, it no longer requires freedom of association you're not allowed to you know you're not allowed to just freely associate with whoever whenever i oh, speak yeah, no, Boo, we, we like i never coach him into anything and i always am very uh giving him in his nick takes and i'm and i never like let him i never try and like take him into a direction because i think it's kind of you know fucked up to do that right but uh you know that's that's the perspective of, of 
everyone you know over over on that side they they think right. that every possible interaction that king painby will have will will be the one that ends his relationship with america first and nick and it's just like so paranoid and weird alberto didn't you get pressed because we both were on augie's show yes like i had an that was when salvo was at the deaf noodles thing and yeah yeah i got... had a uh so it's in the uh the cozy streamer group chat i think i have it archived uh nick fucking argued with me about this for like 20 minutes that was in like a discord call with like one of my friends at the time and i'm like screen sharing this and they're like dude what the fuck is this but they were so confused about it I'm like bro and i'm like i'm like so nervous because i'm just trying to like calm the situation down it was rough yeah ethan if i can jump in here sure um, i gotta jump off i appreciate um, you coming I on man it's a nice surprise it, dude. you're a legend ethan you. um Thanks for having me on, Jesse, Alberto, Jaden, Baked, uh, Porcelain. Always a pleasure to uh, talk to you. Sorry guys. again, Fun. man. Likewise. I'm sorry <laughs> about. Yeah, uh. Dude, <laughs> it's okay. Water under the bridge. You know, all in the fun. See you guys. It was great to have you on. Thank you, Salvo. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, Salvo. Thank you for the kind words as well. Uh, Salvo Pancakes, a special appearance here, unscheduled here on the Fuck Cozy Festival. Yoba, are you still here? Yes, sir. What's up, Doc? Nothing, just checking in with you. Uh, but um, I had a few of these like interactions, like fights over like nothing. Uh, one time he got mad at me because uh, Beards and Doc's a donator. And I, I, I said something like, yeah, uh, some people, like one person told me they were kind of afraid to donate after that because they didn't want to get doxxed. And I repeated that on, on like my stream. Like Nick DMs me. He's like, thanks for this, by the way. And it's like a link to like the Medica like, tweet because Medica tweeted it out. And it's just like he got like he would get mad about like <laughs> Thanks for this, by the way hitler two three and four is crying <laughs> and the best part Alberto's is on the augie stream and talking about beardson doxing guy because he sent him a dollar <laughs> he's following <laughs> he's sending post links wow thanks for this by the way yeah that's what a what Bruh, a serious was... <laughs> political leader and the best um, part about that is i responded and he just like ghosted like he opened the message and he just didn't respond <laughs> And he criticized like Carson Wolf for doing the same thing like two days prior. It was just, I don't know, man. Well, and the, the funny was... thing to me is, hold on, Albert. The funny thing to me is uh, how they claim to be anti-doxing. I've never claimed that, obviously. Uh, and, you know, it's it's a dirty tactic for sure, uh, but mm -hmm. it's kind of just one that's out there, right? Uh, and it's funny and cool. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> it's the internet, right? Like, uh, this shit happens. Um, but, you know... They and Nick himself's like, oh, he docks this, and I can't believe that. Nick's one of the biggest doxers around, and he has a whole staff mm -hmm. of people to help him dox people. Like it's just completely false, uh, and it's one of Ralph's laws. There, anytime you hear anybody, usually not always, but uh, bleeding like really loudly about they're so anti-doxing and they can't believe it, and this is so bad. Usually they're doxing people, uh, and he's one of those prime examples. He went on Leafy Stream was like Ralph docks this and that. I mean, you know, they've doxed countless people. I mean. Feaser's docs was given to me by Black Swan. And it wasn't just his docs. It was literally a whole report on this motherfucker with, and I, I didn't end up using them, but there was like phone numbers and addresses and the picture of his Jeez. mom I did show. But like, it was a full oh, report, yeah. dude. It was like a background report on this guy. Background uh, check. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, is, that, is that his real quick? Um, the, sure. I think it was Thomas Patton, like TC or something. They used mm. to post that guy's street address, like the Google Maps, like picture of his house for like <laughs> fucking a year. I mean, I, I don't really know the, the backstory with that or whatever. But yeah, they're not fucking. That was the guy Mark's that just called Nick a pedophile on Twitter and Nick yeah. got mad. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, and then also, so um, Nick was seething about me uh, last weekend on a, uh, his uh, Apple pedo account or whatever on Twitter, which is now banned. Uh, thank you, Elon Musk. And uh, he was like, man, oh, report baked on kick. Report baked here. It's like, yeah, you, are you winning, son? You know, it's it's not, not looking that good. Like, he's a total hypocrite. Um, also, I got some breaking news coming in here. This this is actually very serious. You guys might want to listen to this. But um, I, I heard Nick Fuentes is actually deathly afraid of pickles. And um, <laughs> I've got a little bit of intel that wow. a pickle man is going to be showing up at uh, AFPAC 4 and all future Groiper events. So uh, watch out, Nick. Pickle man is headed for you. Pickle phobia. Or go ahead. Go ahead Jay. Well, AFPAC 4 is never right. going to happen. I mean, AFPAC so, 4 was what? Ralph Mania? I mean, I was saying <laughs> that even then. Like that basically was <laughs> AFPAC 4. Let's be honest. 
Yeah, and it's well, how so can he one up what what he's done so far without the contacts, without the links? I mean, the, the last thing he did, he had Sneaker as a special guest, a, you know, a guy who enjoys cook holding himself, and did gay porn apparently, and did gay porn apparently, well, and defended cuties. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't understand. And hiding that. from Brandon Buckingham. You know, <laughs> like he's he's conscious of Afpac Four being a complete and a like downgrade of what has happened before. Well, he, and, and he, he doesn't want the idea of of like the, his movement looking like it's in dissension, and it will be if he does Afpac Four. He knows that for sure. He can't do yeah. anything. He can't do a single public event ever again because I'm showing up. Ethan Ralph's <laughs> showing up. Pickle guy apparently is showing up. Uh, that's that's what I read on 4chan. Everybody. Is gonna show up and ask Nick. Boneface why is showing up. Because, yeah, Bo Boneface exactly. is coming in later, and he said, "Why didn't Boneface show up to Fuentes' rally? He was in well, West you, Palm, right?" Yes, and you know what? Uh, I was joking with a gentleman that I was talking to working this uh, program that we were doing down there in Florida. I won't say who, mm -hmm. but uh, probably known. But uh, I was talking to this guy, and uh, he's like, "Boneface is gonna be there." I didn't know who Boneface was. Yeah, I heard I heard Boneface is gonna be there too. Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> like, talking about. The when I released the footage, you can see me like walking around the parking lot and I'm talking about Boneface might be showing up. Now I think that guy was pulling my leg now. Uh but we ended up getting in contact with Boneface and we had him on the show, and he yeah. literally said, and he told me this in private too, tell me if they have another rally in Florida and I'll be there. And he wasn't <laughs> kidding. Uh awesome. so yeah, I thought he was gonna be there that night though, and I was literally waiting on that. And uh, I just got sent that meme, and it's like this guy hates pedophiles or whatever. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He saw that too. Yeah, yeah I saw that. <laughs> Dude, I was. Yeah, I don't think App Pack Four is gonna happen because one, I mean, yeah. I you know you don't want to deal with Boneface, and two, <laughs> I mean the Kanye thing. I had Groypers telling me for weeks that Nick was gonna speak. He was gonna open for Kanye concerts, and. What? Uh, that, that he was going to do speeches at Kanye concerts. Kanye was going to be at AFPAC 4. And, uh, yeah, now, you know, he had Marjorie Taylor Green. That was his big get because of Milo. I mean, who's going to be at AFPAC 4? I mean, Omega King Boo will speak. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Ruined all his yeah. contacts, right? Like, I mean, Marjorie Taylor Green, that was Milo, and like you said. And then, you know, Gosar's basically cut ties. Like, who is he going to get in there? Nobody with any sense. Well, he sure. already cut ties before AFPAC 3. He, yeah, They had that video right. at AFPAC 3, and they, that was just weaseled from uh, Chicken Right or whatever. That was like a video for some random Boomer event yeah. that they just played. Yeah, and that was really strange too, because I was there, and it was like it was a really short video too, and I was like, "Is that it? Like, uh, what is this?" Uh, but I didn't realize he didn't even know what it was for. Yeah, he had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, what a victory, Nick! And that's the thing. This whole thing is just like it's just fake. And from the outside looking in, you're like, "Oh, whoa, seven thousand viewers! Whoa, he's ratioing people on Twitter! Oh my gosh, he has Paul Gosar speaking, and it's just all bullshit." It's fake. They have bots on Twitter. I mean, he does have some people, but like, you know, you see these big Yeah, he has a group say, chat with yeah. like 250 people in there. Like, yeah, ratio this, and they have three accounts. Yeah, that's literally the case. And there was some DEA, I think the former DEA administrator or something was supposed to be at Abac 3, and then he found yeah. out like at the last Ice, minute. I think. Yeah, yeah Ice, he, yeah, he you're left. right. He yeah, left he's like, no. immediately. He's like, oh, wait. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm out. And then Milo saved his ass because Marjorie yes. was just in, in, in town. Like, she was not supposed to even be there. Yeah. Like that would have been total embarrassment. I don't know. I guess he would have had uh, Sue Peters. <laughs> I mean, you know, I you know, know what? I told this story, but I was out in the, I was uh, having a few drinks uh, at IPAC three and I was out there getting a drink and I ran into Jaden and we were talking for a minute and I never had any beef with Jaden. That's what's kind of fucked up. Why I went out. I'm like, we really, and I remember you saying this, like we never had any beef. What is Ralph doing? Um, but we were talking friendly conversation. I hadn't seen you in a while. Uh, and you'd started rocking the goatee and I was like, Oh, nice goatee. And we were talking a little bit. And, um, then I get word Stu Peters is in there talking about hanging people and like all this shit. And I was like, Oh, what the fuck? And then I go back to my seat and he's talking about sending them to the gallows and all this shit. Like it was one of the crazier, uh, speeches that I've seen. I mean, actually. that was the most entertaining thing it was. of the night. Yeah. I mean, and the, yeah, I mean, you get, it's very, very rare to have a, your keynote speaker get called out by another speaker and like said that threatened to uh hang her or whatever he did so yeah it was wild uh and then the marjorie taylor green thing you know i was not traditionally a huge fan but uh that was like a shock wrestling event or you know what i mean like a shock yeah i mean it's a huge just, I get. Like, it, it, like it's it's yeah. huge to like legitimize his thing and then he within a couple of months just nuked all of it 
I just uh, hubris and ego uh, getting to him. Uh, panel, any thoughts here uh, on some of the stuff we talked about? I still have to play this Josh Moon interview uh, here in a bit, but there's no rush. We'll probably I was said 10 o'clock, but it's probably going to be closer till midnight uh, with all these guests uh, that we have lined up on the show. Uh, Alberto, are you enjoying yourself? He's dead. Sorry. Uh, yes, I am. I am enjoying myself. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, I was typing <laughs> something. I was typing something. I'm my mic muted. But, and uh, check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, are you talking to an e girl, on. Michael? Is that I heard your no, no, no. You got your nose. In <laughs> oh there. yeah. I don't want to sound like Nick, but I, you know, I heard you. <laughs> Do not. Uh, he was right about the e girls. He was right about the e girls. Yeah, well, well, yeah, now he's will, just surrounded by nothing but Jewish e girls. Yeah, yeah I, think he's, right I think he's just dropped the e, e as well now. Yeah, yeah that's exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. For us. you can't be right about e girls when you're uh, when you're bad on all girls. Period. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. No specifically girl. the e girls. Uh, do not talk, to, especially if you have an internet presence. If you're an internet streamer. Yeah, I, I mean, would look never at do Salvo, Look at Salvo. Um, just as a bit Ralph, of a like a humorous aside, a sure. little tangent. Um, I've just sent you a little DM, Ralph, right, and we spoke about Omega King Boo. Um earlier about the fact that he thinks that if nick just watches naruto then everything will be changed we had a discussion yesterday uh where he he came up with this pyramid mechanism of how he would reorganize america first and who he'd put where and he, he he's absolutely convinced that if if nick listens to him and reorganizes his organization to have these names in this particular order then everything will be okay and everything will be saved. And I, th I think some of the names and some of the uh, some of the uh, priority orders are, are pretty amusing. I think you'll see that PPP is in there, apparently. <laughs> he thinks PPP has something to offer. Um, some of his own friends that aren't even streamers are in there. Uh, Warsk is in there. And then he, he was going to have like a, a special group just for the pedophiles, like Ali Alexander, Andrew Anglin, and Paul, uh, CP Paul. And then he got paranoid thinking that they would watch the stream <laughs> and then go after him for putting them in a pedophile group in his stupid fucked up pyramid list. I'll, pu I'll pull this funny. up. And, um, you know, it's funny because CP Paul was supposed to come on this stream. Uh, oh, wow. And then he. That's I, not I, cool to call him CP Paul. Well, he calls Paul. himself that. That's what my chief <laughs> well, of staff said. said stop just, calling him that. But he says that about himself. That's mean. CP Paul, that's like the one name you can't reclaim. Like RPG can claim Teddy Beezer. You know, you can't yeah, that's claim the one you don't want. Well, he tried it though, and literally my chief was like, that's kind of fucked up to say that. I said, Well, he started saying it himself, right? Like, am I supposed to I don't know, maybe I am. Well, uh, they probably tard wrangled him, right? After yeah, his appearance on the Alberto stream and he admitted that the entire movie was bullshit. Yeah. Like that was that's funny. What I that was too. funny as fuck. That was content. Oh man, he shouldn't have came on that stream, but he did. Uh, he DMs me. He DMs me after that stream. He's like, "That was a banger stream," and I'm like, "Bro, like, are you fucking kidding me?" Sorry. What do you mean? It was a banger stream for me, not for you. I mean, you were funny <laughs> at the part where we we're talking about like Ollie Jamal's boner or whatever. He was funny there. Uh, yeah, I was, I after was, that, I was all asked about that. What is his excuse for giving Ollie Jamal a boner? Because I don't know. What, uh, he he it denies that there was. He denies uh, there was never a boner. I mean, you can clearly see him look straight at it multiple yeah. times. He looks at <laughs> yeah. it. He looks no, he like does. he looks back at it. His pants are undone, but yeah, he had no idea. Ollie stands up, you see the boner, and then he goes, oops, and covers it <laughs> like a little baby. Oh, maybe not like a baby. That's a bad example. Never mind. And then, and then he like side shuffles, crab walks off screen. It's like the most- Well, the buckle, about, like the belt buckles, like yeah, slapping. And it's like, like, yeah. You can hear the metal clank, like- <laughs> well, that's what I thought. Did he have his pants undone? Because like, it's like he, did. he, he just did. what in the fuck? Like I, it's a very <laughs> bizarre clip. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I but, mean, uh, listen, uh, Ethan, this is something you and I understand. Is uh, you know, longtime streamers, like you know, every once in a while, you got your girl there with you. You know, you're feeling like, oh, wouldn't it be a little, wouldn't it be funny? Wouldn't it be a little frisky if she was doing something while I'm streaming? I've never Nobody done that, has. Jesse. Never. You've ever. never done that. You? No, of course not. I I've wouldn't. seen your penis. You've I never wouldn't, done that. I wouldn't get my dick sucked live on air while I was doing the I show. Say, not maybe, maybe not a dick suck, but you know, she got her hand on your lace. Something, you know. No, I, listen, I've I done that. I know people done Wasn't that. Wasn't that? I think that was Medicare. I'm just Medicare did it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah that's so true. I'm just saying, I think maybe they thought like, uh, you know, Paul was sitting there. He was thinking like nobody can see under the desk here. Ali Jamal was just willing to get anything. You know, I don't think the guys ever had sex before. So he was like, okay, I'm in. And then he forgot. He stood, he's never had a boner before. Like, don't, I, listen, I'm, I don't think anybody out there is examining the video too closely. 
But don't you feel kind of like that might have been his first boner? <laughs> it was really weird. I don't know. It was really weird. It was uncomfortable, too. It was yeah. like, uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, and then you're right about uh, Paul, though, because he like he's looking, looking, and then when he gets up, he kind of like consciously looks this way, like he'd already seen the raging boner. Mm. Like you know what I mean? Like I, yeah, I he know. does a double take and then he turns his body because he's like, I hope yeah. nobody notices. Yeah. Like, I don't want any part of this. Yeah, it's like and then he compensation, walks off and then, right? Yeah. That's exactly what it was. But yeah, he was supposed he was all excited about coming on and then um I was gonna go, you know, remind him or whatever, and he had changed his Twitter to retired streamer and retired Paul or something like that. I think the I think the Sunday stream Michael kind of took He was trying to type yeah. retarded so that he would seem <laughs> like he was with Ali, you know. You know when you know when your girlfriend starts taking on your hobbies and attributes and stuff. Yeah. He, he thought he would be retarded. Yeah, I think he might be. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Uh, but, you know, we were going to have him on. I thought it would be funny, but um, I guess he got the call. I guess he got the call. Well, I don't think he, he likes the idea of, of defending his propagandist piece, um, thinking that it's a documentary, but clearly it isn't. Um, I mean, that was embarrassing. The the, the stuff that Big Tech came out with, and, and Jaden as well, uh, yeah, I mean, he, I don't know how in his right mind he, he was able to call that. And uh, talking from a perspective of someone who does make very biased and very uh, fucked up documentaries, yeah, I can I can see what he was doing, and uh, I've got you know I think all the power to him. More power to him, Paul. I, you know, I told him this in private and said in public, like, "What are you even doing, man? Just go fucking like make movies or do whatever you do, right? Like, why, why are you even? Hey, if you want to be like this? Nick Fuentes' his Goebbels, then then yeah. do it, but own it. Like, don't pretend like you're making objective um, pieces of film. He thinks it's Goebbels film. Two, three, and four. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man, but I, I was like, man, this is not doing you any favors long term. Uh, you know, it's my job to be here and mix it up and, you know, cover all this stuff. But you're getting just absolutely roasted all the time. Uh, and it's going to stay with you. Right. And everywhere you go, people are going to be fucking with you because you spent so much time here saying bullshit. And uh, maybe you finally took my advice. But um, I, I don't know. It was just really strange. Uh, now, panel, I have to play this Josh Moon uh, interview, uh, mm. or I'm not going to get it in. Um, l let me get. I need to get going, anyways. So. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate yeah, you I staying need, longer, by the well. way, Jaden. Uh, yeah, no, it was fun. I can come good. back later. Yeah, pop back on later, baked. Uh, I brought him in because he wanted to get in on this panel, but I want to have you back on. Can later. I say one last thing though? Sure. Okay. Yeah. I, well, first of all, fuck cozy. Cozy's fucking gay. America first is a pedophile cult. America first must burn to the fucking ground. Let's go. Um, but, you know, listen, a lot of people are here. They're saying, fuck Nick Fuentes, fuck Cozy. But but you know what? I, I think we got to thank Nick Fuentes a little bit because he's sort of the great unifier. I mean, I mean, we Real. got a awful and porcelain and Alberto Jada. What the fuck is going on? Like, dude, I literally unblocked. Dimensional merch. I unblocked merch. I unblock Merch and like we're too like far. well that was a mistake. Too that was far. Far. But like too me far. and Merch yeah. are somehow cool because we're like, oh yeah, fuck Nick what is. So it's like I don't really understand what's going on, but thank you, Nick, for being the great unifier, because we can all agree pedophilia is wrong. And it's uh, like Teddy and, Feaser's Imagine yeah. song, right? It's like John Lennon's Imagine, you know. It's yeah, like this literally. is fucking gay, but no. hey, we're all coming together around uh one common cause, and that's we yeah. hate Nick Fuentes. Nick Fonda Blacks, Israel. Jews, whites, and everybody. Fonda Everyone's Fonda. coming in together. The, the Rainbow bullet. Coalition. Yeah, go yeah. Ahead. I'll be back later. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Baked. Uh, Jaden, I appreciate you staying so long. I'm going to go around the horn here and let everybody talk. Yeah, uh, I, appreciate I appreciate you, you. having me on. Thank I you, appreciate brother. it. Fuck Nick. Fuck Cozy. Uh, eat shit. Hope you, hey, hope everyone's enjoying the choices they made, <laughs> right? I hope everyone's yeah, enjoying real. So, uh, appreciate it. And uh, Oh, tell people where to find you. Show. Tell people where to find you. Uh, Kick.com slash Jaden McNeil. Very cool. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Peace. Shout out to Jaden. Jaden, gang, gang. Uh, Michael, I'm going to follow up with uh, you, Jesse, because you had the, I think, the best little part of the stream here at the beginning. Uh, go ahead. The most surprising part, at least. Oh, I don't know. Salvo dropping by was pretty surprising, too. Uh, Michael, yeah, I, I thank you for uh, spending a lot of time with us here on the Fuck Cozy Festival. You got any uh, final thoughts? Uh, for no, yourself. Really. We'll still wanna, be here. Sorry. Yeah, I want to say, uh, can I can I challenge somebody to a debate? Yeah. Nicholas Diorio. When's I mean, it going to fucking happen, buddy? 
You I debate think, either me or technicals on this stream. We'll fucking do it. It'll be content. I think he might be mad. I don't know if he's mad at me or not. You know, I'm still cool with him. I think he's, he's, but... he's probably fucking. Blue. I didn't he's do anything though. I, I just <laughs> offered to host the debate. I don't have anything personally against him, and I like Augie, and you know, I don't have any problems with those guys. Uh, but maybe he thought. I don't know. I don't want to speak for him, but I was wondering, did he think mm -hmm. because I was like promoting that or saying I'd host it that I did something wrong? I don't know. But uh, I would host you versus him too. Like, I mean, it's content to me, right? As uh, long as Michael yeah. does not moderate that debate. Then <laughs> <laughs> the tts i think yeah. the tts made that stream better you guys weren't missing much that debate sucked if we're being honest well i thought TTS yeah added to the experience. it was nick didn't really show up for that uh and I, I remember watching of course i was rooting for him at the time but i was like this is embarrassing like this what is he doing <laughs> uh, right like i didn't I well didn't the 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 issue with nick is everything he said was just a play to his audience and it just kind of came off as like retarded so like when you're debating somebody, you're trying to like disprove. You're trying to prove to the general audience or to their audience that they suck. But every like like thing Nick did is like a play, just to, like his audience like riled them up, and like that doesn't work. Well, I mean, it does work like to a degree, but you have to also you know make a point. But I don't know. Right. But anyways, Michael, um, tell him where you stream. Oh, you're all gonna do it. Uh, yeah, TikTok.com slash Michael Alberto. You can find all my stuff at michaelalberto.com. Thank you for having me. It's nice getting to talk to everybody. Fun stream. Very and fun. a Salvo texted me, said it was a legendary stream. You know what? I was so happy that Salvo came on. Uh, and I've been wanting to get him on for a while. Now, we, uh, we're we friends, right? And he's been very complimentary. I still remember when I came on his show. And um, mm -hmm. he's just, he said what he said on air, but he said it to me in private. Like, you know, you're a legend and, and you know, I respect you and all this and that. Uh, and it, it meant a lot to me because, um, you know, I respect him too. And he you know was this up and coming guy. And at the time I was catching a lot of shit from all different directions for a good reason, really. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I really like him a lot. And uh, I was glad you got him on. So thank you for that. Of course, of course. I'll see you, man. Take it see easy. See you later, Alberto. Jesse PS. Well, we finally did our uh, kill stream together. Uh, man, <laughs> exciting. It was fun. <laughs> and uh, it's nice when I'm on kill stream and I'm not being muted and my volume lowered. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't do that. What do you mean? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely never happened. Um, yeah, I just want to say here real quick before I go that, um, you know, I've been, I'm sorry, I've been a little quiet here the past few minutes. I've been trying to figure out with the cozy shit because I know people want us to do it to another channel. Um, basically, every time I've tried it with another channel now, if uh, it's someone who's already live, I can't do anything to it. I can't like overtake them uh. already being live. But on the back end, they have stripped out everything. Like I, I don't know if we. I gotta talk to my people. I gotta talk to the pot awful cult and see if they can figure this one out. I'm not the technical guy on this stuff. So right now we've been sort of uh, you know bricked out of it, but. I do want to say this, you know, Brittany, uh, politically provoked, she, we saw her spilling spaghetti at the beginning. I, I mean, if for no other thing, if it wasn't that just funny awesome. enough that we got on Cozy, she had that, that freak awesome. out where she said, this cannot be legal. She's <laughs> now on Twitter acting like, oh, she never, it wasn't a big deal. So here's what I would ask everybody to do. Please go to Twitter, find her on Twitter. I don't know her fucking name on there. And, you know, you'll see her tweets about it. You'll see her responding to me on there just give her the screenshot i think ethan you tweeted this I out did. give her this yeah give her the screenshot oh, of her I kept freaking those. out in chat i kept those I, personally because i was like she's losing her mind and now she's like oh it's no big deal no nah, bitch exactly. you were losing your fucking shit and we saw it I'm like exactly. what are we gonna do they're gonna take my channel this can't be legal like just absolutely melting down so we know the this, truth this can't be legal for me is the meme <laughs> of the stream so i love that one <laughs> This um, can't be legal. This can't be. Yeah, it can't. It's not. <laughs> I just want to be clear. It's not legal. Okay, it's a crime. The hack. That is a crime. So uh, yeah. please fill her mentions with this image of her freaking out of her losing. I love. Well, I don't know her that much, and th but the few interactions I've had with her, I just love watching her seethe. So please do that for me. Um, mm. Now, if you want, I can jump back on in a little bit on this yeah. stream because I actually have one other thing. It's a little, it's cozy adjacent. Listen, it's no hacking into cozy, but it's cozy adjacent. It's a joke, a troll I played on a cozy guy a long time ago. It's a little bit Nick related and I've just never released this info. So I might come back and uh, give you that because I don't know. I, I'll never do it on my show, but if you want to see my show, you can find me over at awful.tube. That's my YouTube channel, awful.tube or podawful.com. If you're one of the people in the chat, that were saying, wow, Jesse was actually okay this time. I didn't completely hate him. Uh, the truth is I'm actually good and funny all the time. 
It's just when you're not laughing, uh, you were the punchline. So come be on the inside of the joke for once. Podawful.com and awful.tube. Thanks, Ralph. Thank you, Jesse. I appreciate it, man. Porcelain, you're still here. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man. I appreciate you joining too. I think that was, no, kind it was of an enjoyable. Awesome I mean, panel there. Yeah, I only managed it because I was traveling back, so I couldn't manage to catch any of the Jesse stuff from earlier. Oh, but I, see it. I mean, hearing that the fuck Cozy Festival was broadcast on Cozy <laughs> at some point. I mean, that in itself, whatever happens to the rest of this stream, you've got the win just immediately. You, you managed to get the fuck Cozy Festival on Cozy without their permission, without their consent. That to me is uh, me magic as beat. It was so said. epic. And one day I'll tell the whole story, but uh, we had been talking about doing it for a while and he was right. <laughs> and he told me, you know, this, that, and the other. And then it looked like, and I won't go into the whole story, but it looked like we might not be able to right before the right. stream. And I was like, oh man. And I'd kind of yeah. like foreshadowed it and said, oh, we got a surprise and da 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 da. And I was like, oh, well, we'll see. And then it came together like right before wow. we went on air. So I'll tell the whole story one day. But yeah, it was epic. You should definitely check that yeah, out. Yeah, I can't where wait to do that. Where should people check you out, though? Uh, just post it in on uh, YouTube and Twitter. So Very just cool. uh, type that in. You'll see it. Thank you, brother. I appreciate your time today. Yeah, thanks, man. Bye. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.